Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Dalia Zimbida and I'm passionate about research that transforms the lives of people with hearing difficulties. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Manchester and last year I was honored to receive the International Society of Audiology Scholarship. I prepared this uh, short video abstract to present you the novel conceptual model of uh, hearing health inequalities that has just been published in a Trends in Hearing. This is a landmark study that proposes a novel model for hearing loss prevention during the life course. Hearing loss is a major global health challenge estimated to affect the life of over 460 million people globally and those with whom they communicate. Unless action is taken, this number could cross 900 million by 2050. In this study, I and my colleagues propose a novel theoretical framework supporting the argument that a substantial proportion of hearing loss in older adulthood is preventable by tackling the socioeconomic inequalities in hearing health. Hearing health inequalities is an emerging research area and I and my colleagues recently proposed a definition saying that the hearing health inequalities are the avoidable differences in people's hearing health across different social and population groups. The mechanisms by which these inequalities are generated remain unclear so far. This is because the relationship between hearing health and socioeconomic resources is complicated because each one affects the other. We reviewed the literature and uh, a total of 53 studies were selected to thematically summarize the existing evidence using critical interpretive synthesis methodology. We examined the mechanisms and explained the relationship between socioeconomic inequalities and hearing health in a life course perspective through a conceptual model. This model provides a visual representation of the several modifiable factors of hearing loss in distinct uh, life stages and uh, their evolution over time, which is a new thinking in hearing loss research. Let's now look at this uh, novel model that depicts the modifiable determinants of hearing loss in several stages across the life course. Children born uh, to parents from uh, a lower socioeconomic background tend to experience more illness and injuries and the antibiotic uh, drug, drugs used may affect the hearing health, especially in sick babies with a genetic predisposition. In turn, consequences of hearing loss in children can include uh, impairment in language skills and uh, lower educational achievement compared to children with normal hearing. The lower educational status is also related to the lower health literacy, which is a common issue among people of a lower socioeconomic position. That can explain why individuals of a lower socioeconomic position adopt an unhealthy lifestyle uh, with higher levels of uh, smoking and alcohol consumption, higher body mass index, and lower levels of physical activity, which are all risk factors for hearing loss. The lower educational level is a predictor of social inequality in later life, as it limits uh, employment opportunities, relegating them to more poorly paid jobs. Furthermore, low level manual jobs are those with the, a higher level of uh, occupational noise, which is a risk factor for hearing loss. Occupation and income then may affect access to hearing health services and hearing aids use due to the financial barriers that uh, affect the help-seeking help behavior for uh, hearing loss. 
this here in health inequalities can affect the retirement status and income of older adults as they affect their ability to continue working or to advance occupationally. Also, hearing loss affects uh, clinical communication in healthcare settings and uh, so affects the quality of care and management of uh, other health conditions that are commonly comorbid with hearing loss. As hearing health deteriorates, this uh, lowers uh, socioeconomic status further and results in a worsening cumulative hearing health over the life course. Understanding hearing deterioration as a lifelong process and not as an inevitable accompaniment of aging is an essential step in addressing the global burden of hearing loss. The life course approach in hearing health can lead to the development of appropriate interventions and the public health strategies that can have significant health policy and practice implications. The hearing health and equalities model aspires to be used uh, as a novel tool for the prevention, identification and uh, management of hearing health inequalities and for policy formula formulation uh, aimed at hearing loss risk reduction. Hearing is an important part of our lives as it lets us enjoy life and connect to the world. The vision is to have a world in which no person experiences hearing loss due to preventable causes and those with unavoidable hearing loss can achieve their full potential through appropriate interventions, education and empowerment. Thank you very much. Please feel free to, to contact me to discuss further or explore any opportunities for collaboration.